So what's going on toxic gamers just like that we are back with some gaming news everybody the last few days admittedly have been quite chill in video games but of course they had to start some drama and we got plenty of it today man these are the youtube thumbnails that are going around in the gaming scene on the youtubes okay and the drama is absolutely quite literal everybody's beefing right now suckers be beefing right now like the video if you think there are two genders dislike the video if you think there are five thousand genders listen guys I'm not a savage. I gotta give everybody equal chances, okay? But just like that, we're gonna jump right into it. Guys, also consider becoming a member on the channel so the day we get cancelled, we live to fight another day. But shout out to the homie Dr. Disaster Rule. You may remember that earlier this year, Call of Duty games gave away free rainbow themed guns and bullets in Call of Duty Warzone and Modern Warfare 3 in honor of Pride Month. And Bruh. for a lot of people, myself included, when that we is, saw this picture here. Th this is just insane, right? Of course, like, I cannot, like, talk everything on youtube right but of course like you know in america there were shootings that happened and there were some people behind it right and these suckers are so tone deaf they always use lgbt people as shields and in this case they were like trans bullets after what was going on and it still is an ongoing thing right but thankfully i haven't heard any horrible news uh, recently which is a good thing but you know when the school things were going down there were like some some of that crap and the fact that they used the, and they said trans bullets in this one absolute just insanity right of course we all saw like what ubisoft did right salute to captain bbc first of all we gotta yeah, always the salute to captain the bbc they yeah right they always use black people as shields and they always do that to my black homies right but okay this time at least they didn't use like a black guy in this situation right and do that crap right like whoa that is wild okay okay thank god they didn't do that because they always do that to my black homies they can never make a straight black character in video games no more uh, after all i mean we had the bbc bundle in call of duty gotta give them cat ears right with that thing jumping out that's call of duty for you but of course like so far we think he's straight <laughs> your call of duty is gonna be like nah man he ain't straight either man so i i won't be shocked if they ever do that but let's continue here this was our response what the hell is wrong with you people i mean this look thing at is that. crazy that man. is cringy as hell the pandering is off the charts with this kind of crap a lot of companies chose not to engage with pride month shenanigans this year but call of duty stuck to their guns pun intended and so you just knew that when black ops 6 came out this year there was a strong chance that they'd include more of this pandering yeah. progressive crap tailored to the modern audience okay i, I mean i would say that ubisoft bro like <laughs> We always gotta use Ubisoft as an example, man. Like what they've done to Yasuke is crazy. Ubisoft went just absolute insane, I insane, right? They were like, okay, now, nah, bro, like we gotta have a G B B C, right? Because cannot make a straight B B C character. We gotta make a G B B C, right? Like it's just crazy, man. But they were like, okay, now, nah, bro, let's not go that route. We gotta do this, okay? So Activision injects gender ideology into upcoming Call of Duty Black Ops 6. There we go, fellas, there we go. Yeah, suckers are beefing, but here's the thing though, I don't think that's gonna take like super, um, I, I think the sales are gonna be there, but already people are expecting low sales because of Game Pass subscription thing. A lot of people are trying the game or getting the game through Game Pass, which is understandable. I mean, after all, right? If you already have Game Pass, if you got PC, right? And if you had Game Pass, then you're gonna play the game through Game Pass, which is understandable, but uh oh, wait for it. Yes. I'm so sick of these people. Hey, you know. Oh. We've just learned that Let this is all absolutely all the case. The Black Ops 6 team just put out a blog post showcasing all the new characters in this game. Among them, they've got this character here, Rossi, an androgynous lump of who the hell gives a shit. They had little write-ups about each character's background, and Rossi's bio referred to the character as they and them, confirming that this is indeed the very first non-binary character in Call of Duty. Because, of course, nothing says we're having fun, quite like chasing people into their hobbies and beating them over the head with ideology for no good story reason. Facts, Why are you facts. You are. Honestly, every time I try to do something fun or exciting, you make it not that way. Right, let's, get Anyhow, let's talk about what we got going on here with Black Ops 6. Now, I have never really been one of those Call of Duty bros. Not that I've really got anything against the franchise, it just wasn't my jam. I did get into Black Ops 2 way back in the day. I played the ever-living hell out of it. Basically, yeah, the yeah, only yeah. time I ever really get interested in playing a new Call of Duty is when there is a Black Ops version of the game. For whatever reason... Yeah, I, I actually heard this a lot, and recently, like, everybody was saying, Yo, Black Ops 6, Black Ops 6, Black Ops 6, yeah, yeah, yeah! <laughs> 
<laughs> and I tried the game as well, right? And I gotta say, it's better than Conquer. Guys, listen, objectively though, politics aside, Call of Duty Black Ops 6 is better than Concord, all right? It, it, and admittedly and shockingly enough, this time it's been better than Dustborn as well. So yeah, I, 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 I enjoyed my time with it is what I'm trying to say, all right? But of course, it's like a, like a mobile game that is made for consoles, right? It's a very polished mobile game essentially uh for for console so i would give it like maybe 5.5 to 6 out of 10 and you, you know for the whole package haven't tried the campaign yet i'm hearing people say campaign is good some are saying that campaign is filled with dei politics this and that i'm not sure right like girl bosses queens i am just a fairy i am a free spirit i'm a dad's little princess i am i am i am i'm my dad little princess so i'm hearing some people say that Bruh. I don't know how true that is because I have not played the campaign so but but yeah zombies they of course like mess that up big time Bruh. right at least for the old school gamers for the old school Call of Duty zombies fans they mess that up big time it's not that bad it's I like it's uh, it's kind of mid it's mid it's like five six right multiplayer is decent i would say that multiplayer is decent but of course they they don't want to just make it decent they want to make it decent you know what i'm saying for the modern audience Ooh. so that yeah that's where we at right now i just feel like they're always better put together what, what what's your guys uh review of call of duty in one sentence or two sentence or even in 10 sentences if you want to take that time go for it man i'm gonna let everybody I, I'm, I'm gonna let a brother like you speak out okay then their or, counterparts or a sister like uh, like you speak out if you're a sister okay so yeah yeah but what i will not do is swallow the virtue signaling and ideological crap that they shove into games so this game is going to be a big no from me now fair, don't get fair, me wrong fair. call of duty is one of those automatic purchases for an fair. awful lot of yeah, people out absolutely. there don't ask questions just consume product and then get excited for next product there will be mm -hmm. tons of 12 year old kids begging mom and dad to get this game regardless of whatever pronoun crap they've injected into it most normies won't even hear about this stuff and a lot of them won't care they will buy the new call of duty game regardless of whatever but, they but here's the thing right like for example right like i am using in call of duty okay hypothetically like i'm using the they them uh specialist in call of duty because i'm feeling like okay you know what love is love i gotta show love to the brand new operator is it a brother or a sister or I was a brother or a sister i'm not even sure okay i'm not even gonna get down because I, I don't even know man technology is getting really i feel like that it was a it's a brother it's a brother trying to uh, be a sister. I think that's what it is, but could yeah. be wrong. Could be wrong. But let's just say I'm using this operator, right? And I get killed in the game. So, like, you're telling me that the guns in this game is gonna kill me for the wrong pronoun? <sighs> right? Like, so see, like, we have a problem. Oh my god, like, he, he just shot me. He killed me in the game. And he said wrong pronouns. So should I then be, feel offended? Yeah, like we got a lot of problems right now. You, you see what I'm saying? It just never stops, guys. It never stops. We got a problem. We have a problem. I don't know how they will fix it. I feel offended. I feel offended. I feel offended. They hear about because it's the new Call of Duty game. So to be clear, Black Ops 6 will be a wild success. It is already the number two top seller on Steam. But that doesn't mean Second that we shouldn't talk about this. Second because here's slotted. the thing. Even the thickest trees can get chopped down. It might just take a lot of swings. For Christ's mm. sake, we have taken down Star Wars. At one point, that Christ. franchise was the absolute golden child. The but, but here's the thing, though. Like, Star Wars being made by Ubisoft, we saw graphically, gameplay-wise, it was so bad. And this is what I'm saying. Yes, like the woke crap absolutely killed it. Don't get me wrong. But the biggest factor is also the game was trash to begin with. This is why Concord and Dustborn didn't succeed. Why? Because they were trash. Secondly, yes, they added the ingredients of the woke too, right? They added the woke milk in it. And third of all, those were like brand new games. No name franchises. People don't have any affinity with it. No love with it. People don't have any emotions attached to it, right? So that's why they failed the way they did. Star Wars, great example. Assassin's Creed, great examples. These games are juggernauts, but they still are kind of flopping and failing big time. That's wild, okay? I have to agree with this one. But again, though, Star Wars, it's Ubisoft, and Star Wars admittedly looks trash though minus the wool crap and with the wool crap it's extra trash right so yeah right if call of duty call of duty is people are always gonna say trash and you guys are also gonna call it trash but you're still gonna play it 
and, and there are also people that there are very few people that can call it trash and not play the game uh, and of course if you like the game and you're playing the game and you like the game that's different though you know i'm not talking about you like if you're enjoying the game hey that's that's perfectly fine right not talking about you but i'm talking about the people that say it's trash but they're still playing the game they're like hey i'm addicted i'm addicted i'm addicted and i get that like addiction is a real thing i, I get that listen fellas i get that man in fps scene is dry as hell yes like some of you are gonna bring like 10 20 fps games right now and you're gonna comment that and that's i i get that but you, you guys gotta understand that call of duty there's no competition man with call of duty call of duty is the biggest fps game it's more than just an fps game for a lot of people it's like it's a gateway drug right it's the mcdonald's basically right everybody knows it's bad but everybody loved the taste of it like sick as love it sick as love it okay simple as that uh, just an observation i'm not criticizing if you're playing the game i'm not criticizing you if you're choosing to not buy i mean good for you is where i'm at with it okay it's video games it's the news this is where we at right but here's the thing though like uh yeah so to take down a game like call of duty it's gonna be tough man especially when warzone is free call of duty mobile is free yeah right but of course like y if you're somebody that's gonna not buy the game yeah you're surely gonna damage the sales you're gonna damage their revenue understandably and full-on uh, respect man respect uh, respect to everybody if you're somebody that's like hey i'm not gonna buy i'm just gonna play through game pass respect if you're playing the game hey that's cool too that's cool too but ultimate money-making machine that most geeks just automatically consumed the moment that it came out but now it is a husk of itself so what i'm saying is we have to share this information these activists who pretend to be game developers choose to couch their ideological yeah. crap in franchises that are popular so that they can pretend their views are popular and mm -hmm. because they mm -hmm. think franchises like star wars or call of duty won't go down easily and that part is true it's not easy to fight against this stuff but we have to start by talking about this anyhow facts, this facts, is rossi facts, facts. the non-binary character from black Ops 6 and this is rossi's portion of the blog post once again as you can see this person mm. is fairly androgynous looking you could have guessed that rossi was non-binary just from seeing the pics but at the bottom there is rossi's background it says a street smart rogue with a blue blood pedigree volta rossi is an enigma who left the comfort of aristocracy to forge okay so what is blue blood pedigree like okay like bruh yeah. maybe that's something uh, i don't know what's blue blood uh, pedigree like damn what's that a new name as a human specialist their ties to the latazi family give them unique insight into avalon bruh like after all the school things that go down they they do that crap that is just ludicrous man they had the trans bullets in it that like that is that is just crazy to do that crap bro these things are out of their minds, bro. These things are all... Uh, yeah, bro, like, I'm just gonna do, like, a reverse Uno. They're using... They literally are using LGTV people as shields right now, bro. They literally are. Just like how, like, Ubisoft has been using black people as shields. And they admittedly are. They always... Whenever they see a black guy, they're like, nah, bro, he can never be a normal dude. He can never be... It gotta be, like, a GBBC, right? He gotta be... Good. He gotta be trans just because he black. These things are racist as hell. I'm talking about Ubisoft, but... Okay, thank God Call of Duty didn't go that crazy but they all they but like damn man it, it's like <laughs> what are we talking about man it's like bruh and i'll give them this black ops 6 gets points for authenticity here it is perfect that the first non-binary person in call of duty comes from a rich family most people don't often have time to sit and think about this sort of thing yeah. this non-binary stuff is generally the intellectual byproduct of being bored and miserable in any event yeah, yeah. it really is no surprise to see that activision added this to yeah because normally they do that with like black people right like normally this is what they do right okay he black so we gotta make him trans we gotta make him gay right or or it's a black sister black queen love my queens man salute to my queens man go be strong go be independent okay i am strong i am i know you are strong sweetheart i know you are strong i am strong i'm strong i'm strong you don't have to tell me i believe it you go girl go fight for your rights queen right absolutely i and okay jokes aside though i am a i'm for my beautiful ladies my my queens out there but they always do that right like black queen guess what <laughs> yeah bro like i I'm lost for words, man. I'm lost for words. So this time, I guess they are being very authentic with that, okay? Game. Twitter user Grums, aka Mark Kern, the former team lead of the original World of Warcraft, tweeted this several months ago. Activision DEI leaked. The bonus and review at Activision depends on how hard you DEI. DEI officers are installed on every dev team to ensure the message. 
Of all the AAA studios out there, my dev friends and contacts who have come forth tell me that Ubisoft and Activision are the very worst. Mm -hmm. Last week, this was emailed out to all. I mean, Ubisoft, there we go. Bumble Clan, brother. Who, good, who could I guess? Who could I guess? Activision, Ubisoft, of course, man. Of course. And and see, guys, like, listen, I'm trying to be realistic about it, bro. Like, Activision, Call of Duty, they're probably going to get away with this one, right? They're probably going to get away with this one. Absolutely, they will. Absolutely, they will. Right? But it's going to be, like, interesting to see, I guess. Activision employees, what one of multiple DEI emails sent out weekly in a deluge of propaganda. And underneath, you can see an image of the email that Mark is referring to. It's right, chock right, full right. of DEI crap that they're celebrating having done as a company. So once again, this I is- I don't know why YouTube has a bug where like the video hasn't even end, but it shows this, like there's plenty more, wait for it. It's not a surprise to hear about Black Ops 6 at all. I was simply waiting for something for to it. come out from this game. You'd be crazy to think that such a company wouldn't inject their games with this sort of progressive crap. The best we can do is not buy it and spread the word. Playing Call of Duty needs to be seen in the same way as drinking a Bud Light. That shit is gross! But I'm gonna leave it there. Drop it. That, that, no, I, I totally hear you and awareness is number one. Secondly, I mean, yeah, l listen bro, it's Call of Duty bro. It is big. It is big, but guys, check out this video on the screen. Recently, this brother was caught cheating in Call of Duty. <laughs> check out this video on the screen. Crazy video, funny video. It's hilarious. Just gameplay and cheaters, you know. <laughs> it's like a recipe of disaster. Check it out, and I'll see you right there.